I think the main thing that uh, was interesting is how the industry is developing towards uh, being more environmentally friendly uh, and this is being uh, this is coming from a demand from the from the new generation of clients so how we see the ratio between ownership and uh, and, and and charter uh, chartering a yacht uh, or people that charter a yacht how we see that develop in the future that could be an interesting point that has been raised this morning where more people will actually charter and less people will own yachts. Um, it seems like the, the newer generation is more community-based and more focused on sharing experiences rather than owning things. So I think in the future we might see more serious uh, charter businesses as opposed to owners cushioning costs with charter income and more people chartering and less people owning yachts. The yachting industry is like a, a table with chairs around it and as the as a recession hits some people get a financial hit and other ma others make money out of the out of that recession so the chairs will always be filled maybe not by the same people but there will always be people owning yachts. The revolution of remote healthcare over the past 20 years is based on three factors. The first thing is, is the obvious increase in global communications and the bandwidth which is available uh, all, all over the world from the high Arctic down to, down to the Antarctic Peninsula. The second aspect is the increase in medical technology, uh, so what we'd call point of care testing, which is what we use on intensive care, for instance. So even things like pulse oximeters, which you put on your finger, tells you the oxygen concentration in the blood, or, or blood glucose meters, uh, they're fairly simple devices, um, it's sophisticated inside, but simple to use. The third aspect is integrated healthcare, the way we produce medical kits, uh, the way we train people how to use them, and then the telemedical support service that we provide, uh, so that if something does go wrong offshore, they have the, the medical uh, facilities available to them to be able to solve the problem, they have the skill mix uh, and uh, training in practical skills uh, to, be able to, uh, to be able to carry out procedures, and then they have the telemedical support so they can ring us up and we tell them what to do. I think over the next 10, 20 years, uh, the biggest development areas is probably going to be in training and also medical technology. Uh, so training-wise, this is training the medical officers who are sitting out there on the vessels in remote locations, training them how to do uh, practical procedures, uh, and also to be able to use the medical technology uh, that, is, that is increasing at a fantastic pace. And we'll continue to do so over the next, over the next 10, 20 years.